Hello, my name is Tanya Drake. I'm making another quick video about Schoology. This time it is all about the uh, settings that you can set in the gradebook, such as missing and excused. I want to show you how they exist, but I then want to caution you on uh, what other features get turned off if you choose to use those. Um, so I'm going to start by taking a look at one of our Schoology courses. And I want you to know that uh, when you have parents set up in Schoology, they get a weekly or a daily overdue list and that using those settings alters those notifications. And so let's start by talking about those different notifications um, that you can, or the different settings that you can set up. So here I'm in my formative work for my robotics course. Uh, most of what I assign them is actually in a different category other than formative. Mr. Lyson is a test subject in my course. And so here is an assignment, assignment number three. Now, assignment number three, I could mark as incomplete, uh, which is going to put in the grade book uh, a little note that says incomplete and remind him of that. I could choose to do excused. So let's say that I decided that uh, Mr. Lyson then missed uh, two weeks of school, and this is a formative assignment that I'm going to excuse him from. This is going to uh, mark it as not graded, but it's going to take it out of the end calculations for the grade. And then there's missing, which is going to automatically pump in a zero there and put in um, in the notes in the grade book that it's missing. When I say grade book, I mean the the grade book that the student sees. So this can be a really tempting button to push because it does, in that grades, make a little missing note but there are two unintended side effects of doing this. Number one is that this removes it from the student's overdue list. And so when you log in as a student, on the upper right-hand corner, you get an overdue list. One of the things I have my students do almost weekly is to give me a screenshot of their overdue list. Um, not because I don't know what's overdue, because I want them to acknowledge what's overdue. And as soon as you mark this as missing, it's almost as if you're not accepting it anymore and it takes it out of their overdue list. It also takes it out of parent notifications. And so if you have parents set up in Schoology as um, under parental accounts, uh, it turns it off in notifications as overdue for them. You can tell if you have uh, family members or parents uh, by looking at the student's name and your members and looking to see if there's names underneath them. So if you look here uh, at the various people, most of these are my robotics students, and I work really hard to get all of their uh, family members, at least one family member in, because I use this to send information to about uh, events. So if the parents have that set up, then they get nifty notifications. So here is one that I got uh, when my child didn't turn in an assignment uh, yesterday, uh, assignment submission 15.6 to 15.9, which will now prompt a conversation with me to ask him why he didn't get that turned in. At the end of the week, I'll get a weekly email that will give me anything that's been graded over the week. And so as we look at this, you can see that uh, here's an assignment out of 25. So you might want to check out my video on how to score things out of out of four. Uh, and the gradebook is set up as a percentage. And so I did a gradebook video yesterday about how to change these. But these are scores that my child got in Schoology last week and overdue assignments from Schoology last week that he still needs to get turned in. And then actually it will give me updates on what was sent out from the school and from the different teachers. And I will get that for each of my children each week. Um, you can choose your notifications as a parent, but as soon as we use that little missing button back in that grade book, then that permanently kind of gets marked off of their list. It doesn't go out on the overdue list. It doesn't show up in their overdue list. The other side effect of using the missing button is that it also doesn't show up in your to be graded list. So up in your upper right hand corner on your dashboard, you will have a list of things that need to be graded and it'll tell you which things need to be graded. So this morning I have 16 assignments and one discussion for my first hour class that need to be graded. And if I had marked anybody missing, those would not be here and they wouldn't get a reminder to go grade them. Now I could still go into my grade book and they would still be there to go be graded. Um, I just don't get the reminder. I do warn my students, I talked about this in the video I made on the grade book yesterday, I do warn my students that the Schoology grade book 
assumes positive intent. It assumes you're going to turn everything in and it assumes it's going to be about the same quality as you've done in the past. And the synergy grade book assumes that you're not going to turn things in um, or that you're going to get zeros on them. So one of the grade books is uh, optimistic and one of the grade books is a little bit pessimistic. Uh, the workaround could be that you turn off uh, turn on the missing long enough to capture kind of a screenshot of that grade and then turn it back off so that it goes back to being in their assignment. Now, I had given Mr. Lyson a four on this assignment, so I'm going to repopulate that back in um, because that is the grade he had before I started this video on this assignment.